Hi guys! Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do Bantu Knot Out tutorial. Um, you can do this hairstyle if you have curly hair, straight hair, poofy hair, whatever kind of hair you have. Um, it's going to most likely come out the same way like this as you can see. And you can rock it this way. You can rock it many way once it's done. It lasts a long time. I left mine for, I had mine for seven days straight. I wore it different ways, but to start with, I started out with damped wet hair. I washed it um, and just parted into three big chunks and then started to part it into two in the middle, as you'll see. Um, but this is also something you can do with uh, dry hair, you know, just to make sure it decreases the setting time so you don't have to be under the hair dryer or sit in the sun or whatever however you do it or blow dry your hair especially if you have long hair it will take a long time um, it, as it did for me because I did it when it, my hair was wet and basically once you part it all you're doing is just twisting and twist it all the way to the tip of your hair if your hair is long and it just keeps coming you know come, like if you have layers like my bangs, it was really hard to twist it all the way to the end in my bangs, you know, to stay in that way. So I had to like twist it and then turn it, twist, turn, and tighten it, basically how I'm doing it like that. It was um, a little easier that way to keep it. And I now want to make sure I get the same kind of um, curls at the end. So I'm doing it inwardly. So if you decide to do it outwardly, just make sure you do the rest of your hair outwardly so <laughs> that's a funny word outwardly do I say it funny and to also make sure that you're gonna comb if it depends on your hair of course but you know make sure your hair is detangled before you start you know just to ensure a smooth and frizz free take um, take out when you're done And the bigger the the parts are, and your how you twist it, your curls will be a little bit bigger. The smaller your parts are, and it will be like smaller curls. So you pick and choose. Mine were different, different. Actually, it wasn't the same size for all you know all around my hair. Uh, the front was a little bit smaller, the middle was a little bit bigger, the back was a little smaller. So it's a little blend of, or maybe medium. <laughs> so it's like small, medium, large. And I'm putting a little gel from, you know, the root to the end and then combing it. Just to make sure I get all the flyaway hair and everything. You see how I'm doing it? Twisting it and then turning it. Twisting it and just making a knot. And if you, I usually leave um, conditioner, I don't really wash out all my conditioner every time I wash my hair. So when I was doing this, there's a little white cream like showing up. So that's what that is. And if you put gel that with that combination, it, you know, it will come out on your comb and your hair, obviously. I'm pretty sure if you guys, you know, do your hair with gel or a little, um, any kind of, um, lotion or some sort of um, hair product you know what I'm talking about uh, so basically I'm just doing it all over do it however is easier for you to do it because uh, to get to the back of your hair and to do the the knots it gets a little tougher and harder I mean it gets a little harder so just uh, do it whatever way is comfortable for you if you have short hair this is really gonna be a piece of cake and it still will come out really pretty and um, awesome. <laughs> if you have long hair, you got a little work ahead of you, but it is doable and it, it'll give you some free time to not have to do your hair at all for a good week and not worry about it. You can just scalp your, you know, oil your scalp, all that good stuff. And if you're going to get under the hair dryer like me, you can do your nail, you know, get creative with your nails. Um, I don't know, do whatever you want when, while you're under the dryer, but you're going to have some time in under there. Once you're done, before you go to bed, you make sure you put a scarf around your head just to keep it going. I just, you know, I just want to keep it, um, 
just the way it was until I took I was ready to take it out but in the meantime you see the bottom corner that's kind of how I rocked it one day out and about in the streets <laughs> had the little air kabadu hairdo uh, but once I was ready to take it down I knew it was ready and dry all the way so I just take it out when you're taking out your bantu knot you can always use a little cream lotion or something hair lotion to keep it the frizz away like the fly away hair so you just kind of undo it and then twist it uh, or you just do it the way I am because I put gel on it it still was good I was just parting it sometimes when I was splitting the my hair into two just to make it more curly or to make it look fuller it was getting tangled at the end so you can always pull it and then put your finger at the root and then part it all the way down to the tip so it's really easy and make sure you know exactly the style you want how you want to part it off to the side in the middle because it will kind of stick the same way it won't it's, it's harder to part it different way after you do it I didn't really care how my part came out so I didn't think about it but I was basically stuck in similar hairstyle until I you know start loosening down and the curls you know getting longer the more I played with it and uh, and as you can see right here it is getting a little older but I just kind of brought it back to life and every time you want to bring back your bantu knots out nice you just add a little gel or a little cream the way you would when you would twist your hair you just do it and treat it the same way if you have curly hair this part is really easy it's gonna get to it and it's gonna give it that wet effect so it still look natural and nice I hope you guys like this this is really easy hairstyle to try to do no heat when it gets tangled this is how it's gonna be <laughs> but you just make sure you know be patient with your hair have fun with it um, you can rock it many different ways you can put it up in the ponytail you can do like the pineapple hairstyle you can put um, a scarf around it just rock it out have fun with it hope you guys like it let me know what you guys think um, if you want me to do it with the dry straight hair I will try it out that way peace and love in the meantime see you on the next video